beauties how are you thank you for joining me in today's video i missed you guys so much last week got so busy so i'm so sorry i know i feel like the older that i'm getting the less youtube videos that i'm doing for you guys so i did a little bit of shopping on amazon and i was going to do like an amazon haul since i launched my website and i want to share with you guys like where i get all my goodies and the deals and like just cool things that i find on the internet since a lot of people ask me where i get all my stuff and i decided since i ordered a lot of wigs i thought it'd be really cool to sort of try them on in front of you guys especially having that this is the first time that i ever order any wigs from amazon and i was like okay one they're pretty affordable i have spent a lot of money on like two wigs before that were over a little over $300, which to me is a lot for a wig, but I've seen some that are like $1,000, but they look so nice. So I do know that people do spend a lot of money on wigs. So like I said, I have some really fun wigs here from Amazon. I am going to link exactly the wigs that I bought down in the info bar for you guys, because I'm really impressed with some of these. Um, this one I actually just got today, so I haven't really had a chance to play with it but it's this beautiful minty color. And I love to have fun with wigs. Um, I love lace front wigs. It's just that it does take a lot of work to actually wear them properly. So today I don't think I'm necessarily going to glue them on myself. Maybe I could do a separate video on how I personally um, glue my lace front wig so it kind of looks natural because you guys know I've tried my wigs before on for you guys and there was this one wig in particular girl it was I didn't do it right but I still wore it for you guys on YouTube and a lot of you guys were calling me out on it uh, but that's fine because with anything that you start sort of new you're going to make mistakes and then you learn and then I, I learned and I'm only gonna get better with putting these babies on so I got a lot of these really cool um, beautiful short hair wigs um, because they also have bangs i do have one that's this beautiful minty color that's a little bit longer but i thought this would be so perfect just to have fun you know like that's the thing to me like a lot of people were also on my last video they were saying a lot of things like oh my gosh like i would never wear those purses that you're buying because they're made for little girls or like you should dress your age and i totally disagree with that like i'm not going to like who's gonna tell me how to dress because i'm 30 like if i'm 30 what does that mean like how am i supposed to dress i'm gonna dress how i like to dress and that's how everybody should be and we shouldn't judge people based on what they want to wear because it's called personal style it drives me crazy how people are so critical of the way that other people dress like it's not your style it's called personal style it's personal like do you want them to dress like you then you're gonna be happy like i don't understand the whole logic behind people judging people by the way that they dress so anyways i just had to throw that in there because in every single video that i do like a haul video there's always a lot of people saying like that i shouldn't be dressing this way that it's too young that all these kind of crazy things and trust me like that is not going to be the case for me so it did come with a little hair um a hair net and you know what these are actually my favorite kind of hair nets i also have like the ones that are just like a cap like this but i really don't like those that much because they're really hard to put on and what i like about this one is that it has a really tight elastic on one side so you put this over your head it makes it really easy to put on so I love that and then you just roll it to the back oh my god I look crazy like that right so some people do braids or whatnot um, I'm not going to do braids because today I just don't even I, I think like to try them on just to kind of have like a first impression I don't need to like lay my hair flat perfectly for today's video so this is synthetic hair which is why it's so affordable it's synthetic this is a really fun wig if you're gonna go out with your friends for a night out and you just want to look that's a little bit different don't be afraid to experiment like don't be afraid to wear things that are different because i already like i really enjoy dressing differently or just dressing just how i want to dress i actually went to kat von d's 10th anniversary party celebration and i'm just so absolutely inspired by kat von d and so i went to this event with uh, my friends and it was so much fun and it was so inspiring to see 
Kat Von D's work throughout the years and she designs like all the artwork, all the designing for her products. They all are designed by Kat Von D because she's a true artist and I was just so inspired and I can't believe it's been 10 years. All right, guys, so tell me what you think from this. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so you can see it doesn't really have a lot of volume. My hair doesn't really have a lot of volume. So what you can do is just take some of this hair and just kind of open it up if you don't want to brush it out completely just to give it more texture. So I'll do this side so you guys can see um, how it's going to look if you just do this, which is something that I like because it's so easy to add volume. And you definitely want to work with it and play with it and not just throw it on and go out the door. Like you want to work with it. And this is a really simple way is just by like sort of spreading them open. Anyways, but for the party, I decided to wear booty shorts. My butt cheeks were out and about, but the only thing that made it classy, because I was not about to just wear my butt showing out like that, but if you do, that's okay too. But I decided to, uh, the, the shorts that I had had some fringe and I had this tight bodysuit on and oh my gosh, I was obsessed with that outfit. I've never gone out in public like that, but I was like, I'm only gonna be 30 years old once and I'm gonna work it while I have it. I'm not gonna be covering up my body and trying to be so like, you know what I mean? Like I just, I love feeling sexy now. Like that's my new thing. It's like feeling sexy because I never felt sexy before. I always felt like sweet and cute, you know what I mean? But I'm a woman and I wanna feel sexy. So I decided to wear something so outside of my comfort zone, but I ended up being really in my comfort zone because I feel so empowered and it really matters who you're with also because if your friends influence the way that you feel like you feel really good about it right so my friends were like yes girl like work it and like just really embracing me and I think that's really important because you don't want to go out with friends who are going to be judging you by the way that you dress or just giving you the side eye or not supporting you you don't want that kind of energy so Anyways, so what do you guys think about this one? I think it's fun. I think it's actually really, really fun. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And the thing is that I never really get anything with bangs, but because bangs are not really my thing. I just don't feel like they really go with me. But you know what? This actually looks so cute. And just imagine if you wear a certain outfit, like even like wearing all white and then a super cool wig like this, like how cool and how different and just how fun is life you know i'm all about making life so much fun and if you can have fun with your hair do it girl work it don't be ashamed embrace it is what i'm telling you and who cares what people think that's my big thing also like who cares what people think people are going to judge you people are going to love you regardless so just do you and be like do things that make you happy because you only have one life that's what i'm saying you only have one life once you're gone you are gone so while we're here we're gonna have some fun the filter on snapchat with fire oh my god that one's legit so now this is the purple one which i love also it's basically the same thing yeah i just got it in a, in a different color guys <gasps> purple oh my gosh lavender it's so pretty so these are synthetic, which means you can't really add any heat to these, but that's why they already come pre-curled. And then you can use either texturizing spray or something like that, like a hairspray to add some texture or um, a hairspray that's going to also add a little bit of hold. So if you do want to add some volume, you can definitely keep it like this all day so it doesn't lay flat. I think with these, you, oh my gosh, this is my favorite one. Now I'm looking at them like, how cute! You know what? If I go to BeautyCon or something like that, because I think I am going to the BeautyCon here in New York. Not New York, in um, Los Angeles. I'm going to VidCon, guys, and I'm going to have panels and everything. So if you guys want to come, please come. It'll be fun. Basically the same thing, just in lavender. You can't go wrong with a little wig like this. Having some fun. All right, so let's open this one up. I haven't, I got this one in today. I haven't opened it up, so I don't remember if I got the same color, the same style. Oh no, this is not the same style. This is a different one. This is a little bit longer. Oh yeah, these are the tricky ones. These are the ones that tend to look a little bit more fake um, only because 
they do require a lot of work to put them on and make them look natural. Wow, the color is beautiful though. Oh my gosh, this color is gorgeous. This is like a mermaid wig. It looks baby blue on camera, but it's more of an aqua blue, guys. But here it is. It's still really beautiful, I think. Because I know you can also get the, like, make your own baby hairs, but i never done that before, so I don't know how realistic it's going to look. Or maybe we can try parting it. Can you part it? Mm, you can't really part it. It already comes with the center part. No, it's not going to work. This is meant to be like this. All right, you know what? Let's try this pink one on. All right, ladies and germs. This is the pink wig, bubblegum pink, really beautiful pink color. Uh, this is actually my favorite shade of pink. It's so pretty. Uh, but yeah, I think I would definitely glue this down a little bit just so it doesn't pop up like this a little bit. But overall, for what I paid for it, for the fact that it's synthetic, the color is beautiful. I love how it comes, you know, already pre-textured. It has a little bit of waves that you can definitely play up and move. I love the cut even though it kind of looks like it's a little bit longer this way, but you can just take some scissors to it also and just kind of like style it yourself. That's the fun part also. But yeah, what do you guys think about this pink one? Um, it does look a little bit fake, a little bit more than the other ones because, you know, I don't have the bangs to cover it up. And I think if we're going to do something like this, you know, I need to make it work. Let's go on with the ones that are super duper nice. So this is the one, I guess the more higher end that I got, but it's still actually very affordable. And this one is by Bobby Boss Lace Front Premium Synthetic First Class Hair. Ooh, oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this feels nice. See, what I love about this one right off the bat is the part. The hair part is actually really nice and deep and it looks very, very real. Um, the lace is also kind of like my skin color. Ooh, I definitely have to cut the lace and I think I'm going to do it just so I can show you guys. So I trimmed a little bit of the lace, not as close to the root as I usually do, but just enough to where I can show you guys a little bit better. And this one's also great because it has some hair clips in here. It has three of them. So this is the wig that's not going to move anywhere. Right onto your hair. Ooh, they're really strong. These don't move anywhere. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. And I haven't even glued it on or anything guys isn't this phenomenal this is amazing guys this is my favorite one this is my new favorite wig and i own so many of them and i don't know why i always buy black wigs i'm obsessed with the black hair i want to do some blonde ones though or like some other i mean i get, i got a bunch of colorful ones but i'm saying like everyday wigs i'm always like black curly hair black straight hair Wow, isn't this gorgeous? Oh my God, you guys have to get this one. Look at that. If I go out in public, no one's gonna notice. This looks like my real hair. Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna be seeing this all over the Instagram. The Instagram, did I just call it the Instagram? So for this one, I could definitely do baby hairs because I do have a lot of real baby hairs. And does it come with baby hairs, this one? No, it doesn't. I am definitely going to be buying more wigs from Bobby Ross because I am super impressed with the fact that this is a synthetic wig and it looks like it cost me a thousand dollars. It really does. Be like, hi guys, welcome to a new video. You guys don't even know that I'm wearing a wig. But now you're going to know because I told you. Okay, so I'm going to show you the last wig that I have on today. So then I also ended up getting another black one. Told you. I only get like black ones. And then this one came in a little box. So this was a little bit more special. This one is Brazilian hair wavy lace from Bios. Bios high quality hair. First time buying from this brand also. So we'll see what happens. 
Okay, so this is a chocolatey brown. Chocolatey brown. Here it is. Oh, wow. This also feels really nice. It definitely does feel like these two do feel different, but this one actually feels more like real hair. Like it has that like fresh, clean hair feeling. So I'm just going to take some scissors and cut out the lace a little bit just because I really want you guys to see how it looks without all the lace but I already measured this one before so this one also has some hair clips in here um they're a little bit smaller and it also has the little bra straps I call them bra straps I'm not sure what they're called but let's put this one on see how it looks Ow. So it's pretty short. Um, this is actually like my hair texture. It feels like this is my hair. My hair honestly looks just like this wig. Yeah, this one I have to definitely glue down the lace to my skin because it's kind of like flapping up. So that's definitely something that needs to be done. Huh. Okay, so this is a very natural looking wig. Very natural. I wonder if you can part it somewhere else. Because I don't like the center part on this one. Hmm. Well, it's meant to be parted down the middle, but I think we can figure something out. This one in particular, I do like that it, you know, it feels like real hair. It looks like real hair. The only thing is that I wish the construct construction, like the actual cap, was built like my black one here. Because this is like really nice just from the color of the lace, the way that it just fits right into my head. It just feels like it's a little bit higher quality in that aspect, um, but the hair feels great. Um, and maybe I could just, you know, straighten this one out, but then I'm gonna have the same one as the other black one. I don't know. Yeah, this one, maybe I can curl it, do some, do something to it. But yeah, it's very, you know, you can see it. Today this video is going to run super long and today I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a first impression along with myself as to how the wigs look. I'm going to take this one off. So yeah, look at this is my real hair. Doesn't it look so much like that last wig that I just put on? Alright ladies, so it's almost time for Isaac's bedtime so I have to go but I'm so happy that I got a chance to sit with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun. This is naturally what I do um, except I'm not talking to myself but this is what I do whenever I get wigs. I always love to go upstairs in my bathroom. I just love watching something on Netflix or Hulu or something like that like the Golden Girls and then just try on all the different wigs that I have on. So I have a pretty massive collection of wigs and I just added some really cool numbers. The only, like my least favorite one, the one that I feel like, okay, I could have done without is the very last one only because it looks exactly like my real hair. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it to have a blessed and beautiful day. And if you have any special requests, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave them in the comment section down below because I would be more than happy to do videos dedicated especially for you guys. So have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video.